In the previous steps, we located the DUT and its test point pogo pins. Now, in this step, we're going to insert several components in the spring plate that will help us with DUT insertion and properly align the DUT onto the spring plate. We're going to remove several of the components that we've added previously so that we can work directly with the spring plate and the DUT on the top of the fixture. Here we're going to add a bracket onto the top of the spring plate to help align the dot properly. Now that the bracket is in place, we can add a screw to retain that to the spring plate. Now that the bracket is in place, we're going to add several alignment pins to locate the dot and help with its insertion. This alignment pin is going to insert right into one of the mounting holes on the dot to hold it on the fixture in the proper location up against the bracket. Note that this is not a test point, it's actually just a locator pin. The brackets, along with the locator pins, will help simplify insertion and removal of the dot for operators. We're also going to add several fixed locator pins adjacent to the PCB to help. This is, of course, general fixture design and not specific to an MTM base fixture. Our designers spend quite a bit of time making sure that the dud is properly aligned and placed on top of the spring plate. This is absolutely critical to make sure that the dud aligns properly with the test point pogos. Remember that the test point pogos are directly attached underneath to the test point carrier board, so location is very, very important as is a critical component of the overall fixture. Now that we have our fixed locator pin in place, we can add several more to hold the dot in its proper location. Now that all our mounting hardware is in place, we'll need to make holes in the spring plate and the mount plate to accommodate this new hardware that we've added to our fixture. We'll cover that in our next step.